Hello everyone, this is Christy. Today I'm going to share with you a video on how to organize your markers. These are markers for coloring and I got this one from Temu and it's a 168 pieces. And I also have this one and I really need something to put them all together and they have to be in a horizontal way like this. I don't want to have them like this because this is a dual tip and if I put them like this, everything will go down and it will be running on one side. And I'm going to show you how these markers look like. Look, they come like this, all of them like mixed up and it's hard for me to find the colors that I need. So I want them to put like all the greens together, blues and pinks like that, right? And I also find out that these ones are the same size like this. Look, they are the same size. So the organizer that I'm going to make will include this one and this one and I have them all together. And I will make a separate video of the markers and I will show you the colors and also give you ideas on how to use the markers. So let's start making the organizer. And for this project, we are going to use the toilet paper roll. And if you want, you can take them before you use the toilet paper. And it's very easy, you just grab something and just go around, see? and then pull it and that's it and you just pull it like this just trying to rolling like this and then you have that toilet paper roll so you don't have to wait <laughs> until you use the whole paper and after your roll is clean you are going to make it flat okay and I'm going to press this one in half and I'm going to use a scoreboard or anything to flatten this roll. And once you are done, it will look like this. And while you're collecting them, you can put them under lots of books to have weight so they can get flat. But if you already have uh, many toilet papers and they look like this, you can make them flat like this, completely flat. Can you see? Using the iron. And now I'm going to show you a quick tutorial from a very old video that it was 10 years ago. And I will just put the part that, that um, how I iron it. I iron it on a piece of wood and I use cardstock to put the roll inside then I use the iron on the maximum heat level and I iron it for 30 seconds on each side of the roll as you can see I flip to the other side and iron it for another 30 seconds and that's it the roll is completely flat once you have them all flat, you are going to press in the center and you are going to match the two sides right here that were um, flat and right here, top and bottom. And it's easy when you do like this, see? It will automatically uh, match together the two sides and then you just press on these two other sides. You press in the center and then press on each side and it will look like this and on each of these rolls um, it will fit four markers so you just have to make as many as you need and for example i will need 50 of these because i have 200 markers and also um, the size of the um, rolls are different in each country and different because of the brands. So I won't give you sizes for the total length, 
because it will be different because of the quantity and also the size of the rolls. Now that you have as many rolls as you want, you're going to uh, get a brush or something and maybe a wood stick or something to spread the glue. I'm going to use this tacky glue and I'm going to use these paper clips to put them together so they can glue and it had to glue very, very close. Just put them like this. Then I'm going to get this tool. This is from Temu, or you can get it at Dollar Tree, or you can use even um um cardboard, a piece of cardboard, or anything. And you're going to put them together like this. Okay, very very straight right here and you're going to first you're going to put them you're going to press in the center and don't use hot glue because it dries so fast that you cannot um, move if they are not straight and then i'm going to continue Once you have the amount of rows that you want, for example, I made rows of 10 um, and they are still drying right here, but all of them are square. And I already made five more rows. And I'm going to give you one tip only that um, when you make them, um, all together, you have to press very well on the sides and try for them to be glued very well on that side, okay? So they can look straight, like little boxes. And also that you get one side straight. This one is going to be the front. All of them have to be straight on that side. And so the rest of the rows are going to be a little bit different on the other side now that you have all of this um glue you are going to start gluing right here and for that i'm going to just put that tacky glue You had to put plenty of glue right here in the edges and now you are going to grab one but be careful because this part had to be straight completely straight and you are going to place it on top and you have to start grabbing right here the two sides and start there and press with your clips Okay, for example, I'm going to do one side, then right here, the other one. Then I'm going to start pressing in the center. 
and put the other clips all around okay and just press so they can be straight i'm going to put some clips here Once you are done with the front, then on the other side, you can just press these two sides. And remember, this one had to be straight. And then you're going to put the clip here. And then this part you can just press like this. If you have more clips, you can put it. But right here, make sure this one is straight. And then put another clip in here. See, so I'm going to grab more clips and put it up here for the back, but always check that the front didn't move, okay? And for example, I have these clips right here that I can put right here where, where it's a little bit open. And then you're going to let it dry for a few minutes and then do the next row and the next row. You just have to be patient if you want a very nice finish. See, so as you can see, this one looks very straight right here and here and also the front. Now I'm done with all the rows. I put them together and as I show you, I put them in rows and I have 50 um, toilet paper rolls together and they have the square um, shape and it will fit 200 markers. Now for the outside, we need a frame that holds this one straight and it had to be sturdy. And I thought of recycling a box. And for example, I have these boxes but they are very, very thin. And for this project, I had to glue three layers, at least three layers to make it thick. And that's a lot of glue. See, so I decided to use foam board. Foam board, it's better because it has the thickness and also it's very, very smooth. So I um, cut two pieces and I glue it together, as you can see. And I started with the same length right here. So you measure, you measure right here, the length, and then you're going to cut exactly. And if yours is a little bit smaller in one side, cut the size of the bigger one. And you can stretch this one a little bit when you glue, see? So cut the big one, and these two have to be the same size. And also right here, you have to measure the depth right here, this one and half of an inch more. I'm gonna show you. Can you see this is the same length plus half of an inch. See, that's the first part. Then you're going to put this together. Don't glue it yet, don't glue it. Just put up here and you're going to measure this side from here to the table and from here to the table, okay? From here to the table. The, the size that is bigger is the one that you're going to cut. For example, this one, for example, this one may be one eighth of an inch smaller, just do with the bigger side. You are going to cut this um, measurement right here and the height from the table to this level okay and right here too see from the table to this level right here then we're going to need one more for the back and it's going to measure from here to the other side and the height is going to be from the table to the top 
and that's why i cut another big piece and that goes to the table and it will cover the back can you see it's exactly the size right here and as i said before i don't give you measurements because the size of the rolls might be a little bit different and i don't want you to cut smaller than um your project see and as you can see it will have half of an inch all around and now i won't glue this one yet i will put it away and now we're going to um glue these parts first okay so i will uh put some glue here in this side and then i'm going to glue right here and i will um use masking tape you can use any tape to just hold it and you can use a ruler like this to make a perfect square i started gluing on the sides and i just put some glue and attach two of the pieces together and use the ruler or something to make a perfect square on that corner and then you are going to add masking tape to put them and hold them together then we are going to continue with the other sides When I'm done, I will add glue on the back side and I will spread very well. And I will add the part that goes for the back of this box. And then I'm going to um, use masking tape to hold them all together. Then you're going to add masking tape in all of the joints. You are going to make sure they are straight and fix them with the masking tape. And you also have to add masking tape at the front of the box, see, on the edge that's facing the front. You can use any kind of paper to decorate the box. You can use cardstock, you can use pattern paper, or even other kinds of paper. And I'm going to use this contact paper because it has adhesive already and it's long. So I'm going to cut the amount that I need and then you will see how I glue them on the sides first and then at the bottom.
as you can see, I'm done um, with the paper that I covered. And this one is ready for the insert. And if you want, you can paint it like a little bit, like half on the inside. Maybe you want to paint it white or black. And then you can just slide it up here. See, you can just slide it. It's going to have the same size. And I'm going to paint it with black because most of my markers are black. So I want um, this to be very nice. And I'm going to show you when it's done. Now I'm done painting and I use this paint that is glossy, okay? It's acrylic paint and it's glossy and this gives the texture of plastic. And I just uh, color outside and only until the, the center, okay? Inside, as you can see, you can see for all the sides and right here, but on the other side, you can notice that it was only half. See? And you need just one bottle for that um, amount. Then, now that this one is ready, I can just put that glue. Um, remember to leave like about one inch. Put that glue all around and then you can just place this one inside. Now, this one has the glue in all of the sides and now I'm going to place this one on top and I will just push all the way to the bottom and then I'm going to press this part up here like this so it can glue to the sides. See, it's going to be glue all the way to the sides and that's it you have a very nice organizer for the markers so now i'm going to put them here and you will see how it looks when it has all the markers and now this is how it looks with all the markers and I still have eight slots for more markers. See, it's beautiful. You can barely see the back if it's painted or not. So it's up to you if you want to paint it the whole thing. See, because everything is dark in there. And the best thing of this storage is that you can make the size that you want. And this way is going to be much easier to find the marker that you need. And you can make another one if you have more and place it on top of this, see? You can build another one of the same size and put it on top. If you have less markers, you can make it smaller. That's why I didn't give dimensions of the outside, but you can do according to your necessity. And you can also use any kind of paper to cover this part up here. And it's going to be fun to make your own. I hope you like this idea. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching my videos, for your likes, your comments, and for being a subscriber of my channel. Have a blessed day, everyone. Bye-bye.